In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favoured. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favour with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who was said to be barren is in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. Well, of course, I'm not sure if Mary, but don't worry, I'll look after you. Thank you, Georgia, it means so much. Now, Georgia's have a pot in your lovely doll. Then put her all in life in order that every man must return to the town of his birth. Those towers are 
So time will travel to the moment of dust zero time called Bethlehem. Now it's the they go away to an inn. This will be a difficult journey. This can be a long journey. birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save people from their sins. All this took place to fulfil what the Lord has said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took Mary home as his wife. But he had no union with her until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and whom he was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn.
pair of shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified, but the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, I bring you good news of great joy, that will be for all the people. Today in the Tower of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those who he favours. That evening, after many days of travelling, Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem. They knew the baby would be born very soon. But every inn and guest house was full. They had searched all over town for a place for the night, but had been turned away from each place they had visited. Joseph, we must find somewhere. It won't be long before the baby is born. Those donkeys really do make a lot of mess. Look at all this lot. Oh, good evening. Please do have a spare room at your inn. We are so tired and my wife is about to have a baby. The innkeeper looked at Mary and Joseph and he took pity on them. I have no spare rooms, but I do have a stable. Thank you. Mary and Joseph had no choice, so they accepted the innkeeper's offer. He showed them the stable and they made themselves as comfortable as possible. A bright new star came to rest over the stable. A special sign that something wonderful was about to happen. As the animals looked on, Mary had her baby, who she named Jesus. Just as the angel had told her, she wrapped him up and laid him down to sleep in the manger.
left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see the thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary, Joseph, and the baby who was lying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of Herod, Magi came from the east to Jerusalem and asked, where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and make a careful search for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they'd seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. Thank you. 
beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of man. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, not of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the glory of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth <laughs> for joining our virtual carol concert. Uh, I'm sorry that we couldn't do it in person, but it's been lovely to share this with you. I'd like to express my gratitude and thanks to all of those involved in the organising and production of this event. It's ever more complicated to do these things online, but I hope it gives you a Christmassy feeling in advance of Christmas. I would also like to pass on my sincere thanks to everybody for all of the support you've given us over this year. It has certainly been a challenging year, and we are extremely grateful for everyone's support and kindness. I'm very proud of all of the students for all that they've done in what has been a difficult time. I'd like to thank the staff and the students for all of their work and I'd like to thank all of you for uh, supporting them at home uh, and showing what a wonderful family this really is. 
We wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy New Year.